This is a boss stitch air driven flooring nailer. And I'm going to go over some things that uh, it's not a substitute for not a substitution for the manual, but just kind of a quick overview about what this machine's all about. Um, it shoots a, anywhere from an inch and a half to a two inch long nail that's shaped like this. The reason it's shaped that way is that a flooring nail is a little different than a normal nail and that you're putting it through a hard stir surface and you want to make sure that the nail compresses that material not splits that material. So they design it with a flat point like this. You have an inch and a half up to two inches because it depends on how thick the board is that you're driving a nail through. Remember when you read the directions or you read any kind of how-to book you're driving that nail in at a 45 degree angle. So you want to vary your depth depending on how thick your substrate is. The nails enter or put into this machine pretty simply. There's a cutout on it that allows you to drop them in. You pull up the clasp mechanism, release it, and it's set. If you want to unload your nails, it's as simple as lifting, lifting this smaller button, and then your nails will come out. Flooring nailers are operated uh, so that when you have air into it, you use your hammer, and I'm going to show you a video at the end of this of a DIY friend of mine using this on his flooring. You hit this compression switch with your hammer. The air uh, makes it so that you get a more consistent and, and, act, and, an, and an assisted impact every time that you hit this. This machine allows you to do a variety of different floors. The manual will tell you that it's only meant to be done on unfinished floors, but the video I'll have you uh, look at at the end of this, uh, my friend is doing a bamboo floor that was 5 8 inch thick finished, and there wasn't a problem with it. What they'll tell you in the manual is to double check a test piece to make sure that this works properly. If you have concerns about uh, splitting or about uh, depth, uh, consider looking at the other model that we rent that doesn't shoot a nail, it shoots a staple. Depending on the depth of the floor that you have, uh, you, there are three different attachments that you put on the bottom of this boss stitch nailer. If your floor is a half inch thick, you would use this piece. If your floor is 5 eighths inch thick, you would use this piece. And if your floor is 3 quarters inch, you would use this piece. They're installed on the bottom of the nail gun, like so. You undo these four allens, or the allen head that we give you, and you put this piece on the bottom. And what it does is it allows this to float level and at the right angle for, hitting, for sending a nail into your floor. You can also see where the nail heads are coming out when you do your impact. There are a couple of interesting things on this machine um, that you can use if you know how to use it. Uh, this is a flooring kit that allows you to roll along the edge and drop your nails in. There's a shimming system versus this pad system to allow this to go to the right depth. You'll get a manual with you that will explain the shimming portion here as to what thickness you want to do. What I'd say is unless you're experienced or mechanically inclined, I would stay away from this machine. Most guys that rent this machine just simply prefer to manually do it with this and reset it every whatever they choose, six, eight inches along as they drive another nail in. We kind of believe in attention for detail in a complete kit, and so something that you won't normally get with a flooring kit, but we always make sure we send with you, is a port of nail set tool. It's an expensive little piece, so don't lose it. And what the deal is, is if you hit it, and for some reason you don't get your nail all the way sank in, you can use this tapping tool to finish the tap and get your nail completely um, flush to the surface. If you don't, you'll have a problem putting your next piece of flooring in. So this little tool ends up becoming quite handy. Don't hit it with this boss stitch rubber mallet and hammer. Uh, it's, you need to hit it with a regular hammer. This system comes with uh, 50 feet of non-marring non 300 PSI hose, 
and a small pancake compressor so you can operate this in the room where you're installing your hardwood flooring. And I'm going to have a, a short video put on the end of this of a friend of mine using this. I'm here with Marcus, the uh, DIY extraordinaire, who's putting in some beautiful, beautiful uh, composite flooring. And uh, Marcus, what do you got to... Uh, how was the tool rental? No problems? No problems at all. Uh, tool was great. Rates were reasonable. The, uh, and you guys got it to me really, really fast. In fact, you got it to me so fast that uh, <laughs> I forgot to even I got forgot to get sick that stuff cleaned out in time. So, so that's you, how fast you guys got it to me. We were talking, uh, the big thing is to get the room cleaned out first before you start. That's really important. And you were also saying to me, hey, don't forget, uh, you know, the difficult part is the angles, not the... Um, uh, not the straight runs on the flooring, and you thought it would take two or three days to do a room like this completely? Correct. Okay. And uh, that's the, uh, and, how, and uh, table saw and a flooring nailer and the finish nailer, that's, and a jigsaw, that's all you need? Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, the, the miter saw, yeah. I mean, um, a table saw is nice to have if, uh, if you've got someone else working with you, I think, yeah. so you can do double duty. Yep. But for, if you've got one person working, then uh, uh, the miter saw, Yep. Uh, a jigsaw yep. and uh, the, uh, the hammer and if someone doesn't have it yep. they should definitely get a compressor and uh, compression hose yeah and that's what we gave you Correct. and it works great a little Bosch one well, let's see that thing in action okay so it's really not exciting yep that's it huh and there's your nail uh huh let's come in real fast all right oh yeah there she goes looking good Marcus One of the things I've noticed is that the nailer, mm -hmm. you can get away with just, instead of a full arm swing, yeah. lock your elbow and just mm -hmm. pop it with the, with the wrist. Because the harder you hit it, the more the deeper the nail goes. Yeah, the deeper the nail goes. I'm, sure that there's, I'm pretty sure there's a max. Yep. But you really only just have to have so much effort into it. Well, that's gorgeous. And you're doing every eight inches? Uh, roughly. Okay. Uh, a block, the, the block that I have mm -hmm. is essentially six and a half, almost seven. Mm -hmm. The nailer drives it in center of this. Mm -hmm. So if I add this and this together, mm -hmm. between here and there, mm -hmm. I'm roughly at about eight. That's awesome. So from where my last nail was, I can do this. Mm -hmm. and roughly I'm at about eight inches. I mean... I'm not really doing it every eight. I mean, yeah. Really, I wish I was that anal, but I'm just not. <laughs> I don't think. No, you don't. <laughs> it looks incredible, Marcus. Thanks for letting me in your house. You're very welcome, Rob. Thanks for coming by and seeing the, seeing the work with your tools. Awesome. Catch you later. All right, man.